Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting also. Please comment below how this resonates for you. Let's go ahead and get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, and if you need to get in contact, excuse me, if you need to get in contact with me, all links are below. All right, so let's see. Um, all right, so Aquarius, we've got a lot to talk about, all right? Um, you need to forgive someone or someone wants forgiveness from you or it's mutual, okay? There's some nastiness, yeah, in the air in terms of uh, you and maybe a Scorpio, or there were some words spoken um, between you and someone else, okay? This could even been a, like a vindictive breakup or just a very vindictive relationship. This was a person who had false, you know, um, they created a false narrative within the relationship. They just didn't want what you wanted. So it was always contention. It was always uh, maybe even makeup to break up. It says that you just need to release this, okay? You need to surrender to the divine. Um, and also you just need to re release the grudge and the toxicity of this and end the argument because there's an ongoing argument. And that's why forgiveness kept coming up in this reading. Um, you need to forgive. Um, Aquarius, your card came up. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So something could be happening around this new moon. I know that the, the moon is will not be in the sign of Aquarius, but it's happening in the Aquarius season. Um, you need to bring more love into this situation. You also, it talks about releasing also. It talks about time being of the essence. It talks about maybe you not getting what you wanted, but surrendering to the divine. It also talks about it's not uh, what you know, but it's who you know. This This also could be about networking, getting yourself out there, putting yourself out there. Networking could also translate to dating. Put yourself out there. Put yourself on the market because you never know who you're going to meet. But you have to release all of this apprehension. You have to release the, the fear. Um, stop whining about this, okay? Um, no one wants to listen to you uh, complain. It makes you seem weak. You have strength to change the world, so do it. Um, also, some of you have some really good ideas that you want to bring into fruition. It says go after them. Talking about it or, uh, yeah, just talking about it and no action behind it. Procrastination is going to get you nowhere but where you are right now. Uh, the universe wants you to know that within you, you have a lot of power, Aquarius. You are a divine badass. You come into situations and you stir the pot. You stir the pot for the, the better, for the good. Um... You make people think. You make people think outside of the box. You're a rebel. Um, you are a rebel with a cause. You want things to change for the whole, for the for the entirety, for the uh, the greater dynamic of, or you know, whatever you're involved in here. Um, you have good intentions, and sometimes this can make people jealous, uh, envious of you, of your ideas, the energy that you bring to different settings. Um, not only. You know, are you a divine badass? But you you look good doing it. So you get a lot of envy, uh, strife with other people because you care and um, you're a very attractive being inside and out. Aquarius, you also have the nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon. And to clarify this, I wanted to um, I wanted to clarify it because I want to make sure you got the house card and this talks about a relationship one that is arriving or one that's already here, one that is kind of settling down. Nothing's going to come of it because um, maybe this, again, back to you and someone else not wanting the same thing. Okay, this person wanted fun times with you. Maybe even gave you gifts, trips, you know, put you in the energy of feeling like you were just special and you are special. Um, but this person is, you know, more talk than action here. And there was also talk about you know, what they are doing with other people. It's a lot of gossip surrounding your relationship. There also is a lot of jealousy, okay? Um, maybe even your person being jealous of you in a sense, but definitely someone who is more of a talker than a doer. And it seems as if the universe has put some obstacle between the two of you, or is trying to put obstacle between the two of you, 
um, maybe so that you can um, forgive, have some spiritual growth here. This relationship could have come into your life because you needed to have spiritual growth. You need this help propel you to spirituality for some of you because this relationship had you questioning and asking yourself, why am I so tied to this? Why can't I leave it alone? Why is this so strong? Why is the chemistry here? Why is this? Why is that? Why did I meet this person? So it pushed you or propelled you into spirituality. It says that um, maybe it looks like this union is going to break up again. Okay. Or there will be a breakup again. You know, you might need to leave this love in the past here. This relationship came into your life for a significant reason. And that was to show you something about yourself or even push you to spirituality or spiritual growth. It also could have been karmic. Karmic is nothing but learning a lesson. So this relationship came into your life to help you learn a lesson. And maybe that's why it's void. Of course, now it's not going anywhere because you've learned the lesson. Okay. And it could be highly unlikely that you're going to get what you want out of this situation romantic situation here a year from now things could look extremely different from you what i got a year from now was wow look at the cards that i got i got a new love i got beauty queen so somebody's gonna see you just getting all of the recognition the prestige that you deserve they can see you on a platform you're gonna be the dating queen so you're gonna have options and dating came out again so a year from now, things could look so different for you if you release because you've got several cards of release and understanding why you met, why you are with, why you're connected to a certain group of people or one person. OK, it just seems as if you need to release this so the universe can bring in better. On the flip side of this, it looks like finance and career is going very well for you because you have a definite yes answer. And it looks like maybe you're waiting for some paperwork to be finalized this talks about the peskiness of uh deals and contracts of you know getting things signed getting things approved paper pushing you know going back and forth but it, you have a definite yes so it's going to go in your favor in terms of something that has to do with court or legal matters or contracts or just the peskiness you know it's just like you know um yeah, just what I said, like all this paperwork pushing back and forth and and getting things to be approved and getting everybody on the right page. So you're going to have a yes answer there. Um, also in career, it looks as if there's some, you have some real hopes, some real dreams that you want to come to fruition. And it looks like they will, especially if you are your own boss, if you work for yourself, if you are self-employed looks like you love what you do and it looks like um things could really open up for you you could get a, a major contract you could a message could come into you that is concerning but it brings you to a level of um sudden wealth it might even be apprehension like wondering or if you can take on this contract if you can take on this thing if you um if you have the know you know um if you have the knowledge if you know what you're doing, this may even have you questioning yourself. And that's why it's concerning, but it, it brings what you've been manifesting in, what you've been hoping and wishing for a, a sudden wealth here. Some of you, this could also just be um, having to do a lot of work to bring in an a, a approval or, or get to get something approved or get some paperwork done. Or you, you've been waiting a long time for something to manifest here. And suddenly it does and you get what you want. Yeah, that looks really good for you, Aquarius. It just seems as if release in terms of relationships and romantic situations, because there's something better and something on the other side of this, especially a year from now, your life will look completely different. And in career and finance, it looks like something is coming in for you. It's going to be major uh, right now. Behind the scenes, it's a lot of, you know, dealing with the details and the peskiness of getting things done and so many moving parts, if you will. Okay. So this is what I have for you daily. Um, Aquarius, it looks like, uh, once again, good energy all together. Um, release, relinquish, 
uh, allow things to end naturally. If it's going to end, you don't have to, you don't have to push the button, you know, let, let the universe push the button or allow for something to naturally end or something to naturally begin. Don't push. So that's what I'm getting. Don't push it. Don't force it. Okay. So this is what I have. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. It looks like uh, Aquarius, you're going to be dating, going out, put some wine glasses down in that comment section here. If this is what you want to bring into your life, if you want to have more options, if you want to have new love, a new lease on life, if you want to look at love differently, um, put some wine glasses down in there, put some, some dresses or some flowers down in the comment section so that we can start to manifest better options in love uh, co uh, corporately, uh, especially for the Aquarius. So put some wine glasses, maybe some flowers, pretty ladies down there, everything, you know, some hearts, I guess. Uh, but we want to manifest new love here. So Aquarius, that's what I have. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also come for the collective reading. You can ask questions there at the live. Um, you can go over to the website, book your own reading there, and get clarity about your situation. Also, the new moon is coming up. On the new moon, we manifest the things that we want to come into our life. And this new moon, we're going to focus on money manifestations so if you know that you have been praying for hoping wishing that things change in your money and in your career you could throw something in the money jar the money jar donation is below it has to be a one dollar and fifty cents usd um or more um so you don't it's not set you know you could just put a dollar and fifty cents in there and um it will be added to the money jar and we're going to do a big new moon manifestation february 1st uh, we're going to bring in this uh energy new energy in terms of our money our career and our finances so if you want to get in on that make your donation now it could be of any denomination it just has to be more than one dollar fifty cents all right thank you guys many blessings to you take care i will be back uh tonight because today is thursday we're gonna do a live show thank you guys bye